A healthy heart beats 60 to 100 beats per minute, but when that rate slows down, patients require a pacemaker. Traditional versions are bulky and need two long wires connected to an implanted battery. But now a wire-free pacemaker is changing the game. From the moment that we're born, it's designed to automatically send out 60 to 80 electrical signals a minute. But the heart often loses the ability to regulate itself. Instead of 60 or 80 beats a minute, it sends out 35 or 40. So for years, pacemakers have been implanted in a patient's chest and leads or wires were threaded through the patient's body. Historically, what has been available to us is a traditional device that involves a fairly bulky metal unit that contains the battery and circuitry required to run the pacemaker and two wires. This hospital is among the first in the nation to implant what's called the Avere Dual Chamber Leadless Pacemaker. This tiny device is inserted through a vein and implanted in the heart. No surgery, no wires. With these new pacemakers, nobody will even know you have one. Patient Jonathan Rose was recently offered both types of pacemakers and made a quick decision. Gee, it sounds like a no-brainer to me if you can have all these, not have a pouch on your chest, not have to spend six weeks trying to figure out whether you have a golf swing again or whatever. I want to see a day where everybody who needs a pacemaker gets a leadless pacemaker and we don't have to worry about problems with decades-old leads running through your veins and into your heart. Designed to be removed. The system was part of a clinical trial at MedStar and received regulatory approval in June of last year. 